at God's presence, where you have the, the music, you have the different instruments, you, you have the dancers, and you have the painters all expressing the presence of God, and it goes up to he the heavenly realms, and it's from what God is doing inside of us, and out of our heart, God does it. And it's interesting how it's like how they all blend together. Don't you love that? Mm -hmm. And I did this at Yak's Coffee Shop, and this is a coffee shop that we had downtown, because we were doing art out in the marketplace, and so worship can happen just in church. Mm -hmm. Many of you are called to do this out in the marketplace because this is this is what worship to me worship is me being fully me embracing the creator God. And part of what God's doing is is he wants to he wants to partner with these dreams like and he wants us to get out what God's doing in here because if that happens then you create an, an eternal reality that transforms people. It can create things that transform culture. Just when I was in France two weeks ago, there was a, a deputy mayor at this, at this um, event that I was doing, this conference on creativity, and I presented it to her about who she is, and I prophesied through that, and she's not a Christian, and she began to weep and cry, and then I had somebody from France also sing a song about who she is prophetically, and she began to weep and cry and, and also do a poem, and she goes, this has changed my life. I'm going to put this painting up in my office, and we need to bring back um, encouragement to France, like what you're doing, like what you're doing. And so we can create a reality that transforms culture, because creativity is something that everybody loves. After Lynn did not, Lynn, tell us your story. You started painting just this year. Can you come on up here, yes? You know, heaven, the realm of heaven, is so joyful. So full of music. That's one of his primary languages. And so I was just trying to really give the idea of how to a hold of it and write it up. But um, I saw this image and it was like this part that of like these sheets of paper getting dropped into like ocean water. And as soon as, and they had writing on it and I couldn't really read it, but like as soon as they were dropped into the water, the ink would dissolve. And I was just like, oh, I want to read it, I want to see what it says. And it was just like some impression that there were songs or poems or something like from God that's getting dissolved and then and then all of a sudden I'm kind of like at a different angle and I could see this girl like kind of like wade into the water like just like normal on a beach like she was, and then as she came up out of the water she had all that writing like tattooed on her skin like just head to toe and then the next thing I see is that like I like got this impression there's just like the next it was the ocean was made up of tears but they weren't like mm -hmm. sad tears they were like tears of like God's love and like this passion and all this stuff is getting dissolved in there and then you look on the beach and there were like throngs of people that were like staring at the water like they wanted to go in really bad but they were just kind of frozen mm -hmm. and I saw other people with me that were like running up and like grabbing people by the hands and taking them into the water. And you run back on the beach and grab more people and take them into the water. And then everybody, like as soon as they went into the water, had that writing on them. Mm. Wow. And, and the last thing I saw was those people that were like pulling people with me. Like it was like images of hearts and the words already written in the heart. So. Come on. Wow. Yeah. 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 When I first started, I, I just saw like swirls of like, you know, like like a like just something like a wave. So I'm I'm starting to do that. Okay, I'm feeling it. Okay, I just feel like I tried to use a paintbrush, but I always feel kind of like I can't paint a paintbrush. So I just poured the paint on my hand, and mm -hmm. I started to finger paint, like I normally do. And um, as I did that, it, it turned into like a tree that I saw was like you know restored. Like God makes your past beautiful because mm -hmm. He's good at that. You know that's what He does. And there's a swing that He put there that's like you know He does amazing stuff with our lives, even if how it, it could look horrible. So that turned out, and then I flipped around just to look at it, and it looked like a building. I felt like, oh my gosh, like, I, and then I, I saw like a city, so like, and I felt like it was a city, like, on, that was like in the midst of people, like, giving out their song and their praise, and just like covering the city. And all of a sudden, things right. start, lights turn on, destinies come alive, and I, and I really felt like it was really weird, because it was like, I really wanted it to be one thing, and then turn another, which scared me, because I looked at the clock, I had like 10 minutes, and I was like, uh, you know, building here, building here, so it was really, uh, I guess a leap, I guess, because I wasn't really comfortable doing it, but I felt like I'd rather take a risk than do something that was comfortable. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah.
and the beauty is like you are learning to partner with the presence and okay. I talked to them but doesn't God always want us to take a risk yes. and to make a declaration of what is God saying to me that's different than anyone else but as they started to share their different interpretations and their art there were things that were resonating inside of you am I right yeah. and it wasn't just in the art but it was a prophetic meaning behind their journey and what is not just something that will will transcend and will touch you, but it will actually have a message for everyone out there. Mm -hmm. Worship, if I'm with Creator God, and if He is moving upon me in worship, and if I'm starting to encounter Him, then supernaturally God is moving upon us. That's so I, I don't want this to be just for me, but I want this to touch somebody who really has had an encounter with God through my heart. Because that's what God does. This one person, Donna Taylor, she painted this painting. And she sold it to, uh, it was just some pastors <coughs> in town. And they put this painting up in their well, entryway. And when people came in, they were healed by just looking at the painting. <laughs> and their son wasn't serving God. He had fallen away from God. So they wrapped this painting up as a present for him for Christmas. So he starts to open up this painting, and the wrapping paper goes, what's on this wrapping paper? It's so hot. Let's put this in the presence of God, because what you create is in the presence of God. He looks at the painting, and he gives his life to Christ. Whoa. Um, I, I painted, I was doing a conference up in Oregon, and, there, and I was painting a tree that had fish on it, saying because they were the tree this church was, and that there would be many fish added. So it's a prophetic word, just like what we're going to be doing in a second. And so I did this picture, and this woman came up, and she was crying. And she goes, you won't believe what God did. And I go, no, I bet I won't. Because you don't know what God's doing as, as you paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she goes, when I was young, I, I was abused by my father. And the only place that I could go to, to escape, was at the top of this tree. And you painted the tree the exact tree mm -hmm. uh, that I would go up, and right when you <clears throat> when you were painting it, the Father God came to me, and He healed me of all of the abuse that I had had by my father. Can I get this painting? I go, oh yes, this is your painting. <laughs> I mean, but that but that's the power of what you create. An image can take a person back and, and heal them. An image can bring people to Christ. Because it's done in the presence of God, because it's supernatural. <laughs> but people have been healed physically by looking at a painting. Um, I was just in France, and I shared the testimony about a man who was blind. And I shared about God healing him in France. And, and I just released it, and I said, here, stand in front of this painting. And he was just seeing black, obviously. He couldn't see anything. And he began to see colors for the first time. Oh. And he began to see images for the first time. And the other person your love, it never quits, it never stops. Freedom. 
and Jasmine and I come from Hong Kong. And one of the gals at our table um, got a vision of a microphone stand that ended up being a band-aid instead of a microphone. And this young man had been struggling with a cold and so Teresa said, well why don't you just put that painting on his chest and pray over him? So she did. She laid the painting on his chest and prayed over him and instantly, like he was almost crying. <laughs> instantly he could breathe more easily and just take the air in. And then he had like a nasal congestion and so we put the painting on his nose and we're praying for him to be able to breathe better and 70, 70 to 75 I think he said percent better after the prayer and after that painting. So God moved so powerfully through the artwork of these kids who had never painted like that before and it was amazing to see just God's hand at work through everything.